Welcome to Fly Tying Step by Step. We continue on our journey tying caddis patterns. Today we are going to tie a caddis pattern with a flashback on the back of the fly. So again we are starting our fly with some weighting. In this case we are using a tungsten bead 2.5 mils and I'm going to add some weight additional to the bead by just putting one layer of lead onto the shank of the hook. As you can see I'm pushing it in underneath the bead so that the lead secures it there. Now we are going to again lay our thread base We are going to add some copper wire for ribbing. In this instance I'm using a normal copper color in a thinner diameter. Now again we're tying in our nymph skin cut back for this one I'm using a translucent one again I cut a little v-shape in it stretch it pull it back and now I'm adding my flashback. This is the pearl color. So I'm just tying it in right at the top of the hook. Now we're going to start with our dubbing. For our dubbing we are going for a brown color. Again I'm using haze here and I've mixed in, in some of the gold haze. In this fly I didn't create a tapered body for the fly with the lead sheet so I'm going to use my dabbing just to build up the tapered body. Careful not to cut your thread with a hook. They are sharp, so uh, just be careful of that. On this fly I'm going to add a little bit of pink right 
about the this is a little hot spot. Also helps with the contrast. Okay, with the hotspot tied in, we are going to first of all take our flashback over. And secure it just behind the bead. wraps to secure it. Now that we've secured our flashback we are going to take our scat pack or numb skin we're just going to secure that over the axis just gonna half it quickly and now we're going to do the ribbon again I'm making a loose wrap over the scat back and then I pull another loose turn I'm just taking away the fibers on this side that wants to get caught. Over again. And there we can secure it. Two or three tins in front of it, and behind it, and helicopter it off. By helicoptering off, you will see there's no sharp edges on that at all. Now for the final piece of material, we're going to take two peacock hole, tighten at the base after you've cut off the white stem. For added durability, you can twist it in with your thread and just twist it as you go along. And we can work finish. And there you have it, beautiful flash on the back, it's not as prominent as normal, we see that it's under the scat back, but you've got a pink hotspot there, and the Pico Curl makes for a very nice thorough. I hope you enjoyed it, enjoy your time, 
and fishing. Thank you for watching. Also visit our Facebook page, Flight Time Step by Step. You're welcome to add comments there and also patterns that you would like to know more about or techniques that can be used. So drop us a message and we will look into it. Thank you.